This is one of the keys. Mary is missing from our consciousness for reasons we understand, okay? <laughs> we don't understand Mary, but Mary is a spiritual giant. The other spiritual giant we need to understand is Stephen. And Stephen, full of grace and power, so he's a powerful Christian, yep. He's a knockout guy, he's doing lots of stuff. Was doing great wonders and signs amongst the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, and of Cyrenians and of Alexandria and those of Sicilia and Asia, rose up and disputed with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit of which he was speaking. Then they secretly instigated men who said, we heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. So what they want? Murder. And they stood up the people and the elders and the scribes, and they came upon him and seized him and brought him before the council. And they set up false witnesses, as per their father, who was alive from the beginning, who said, this man never ceases to speak words against this holy place and the law. If we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses delivered to us. And gazing at him, all the council saw that his face was like the face of an angel. That's not like, oh, that, well, like a baby's face. Oh, that baby's an angel. Okay? A messenger from God. What's happening to Stephen right now? He's transfiguring. Okay? We're about to find out why. Can we go to Acts uh, 7, the 51 to 60? The 50 verses that we are skipping is him telling this story, <laughs> okay? He's telling the story of Israel and how they were promised and they couldn't, couldn't do it. So he's just told the whole story of the history of Israel whilst transfiguring under the inspiration. We're about to learn some two very powerful points, okay? You stiff-necked people uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do you. Okay? As your fathers. Your line. Which of, your, which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who announced beforehand the coming of the righteous one, whom you have now betrayed and murdered. You received the law as delivered by angels and did not keep it. What's he saying? You didn't keep the law. What happens when you don't keep the law? Beings with access to your body. Okay? Now you're of the evil one. Now you're of the watchers. Now you're of the fallen Elohim. Like your fathers. So you killed the prophets. That's what that nature does. Now when they, Jezebel killed the prophets, yep, who was her dad? King of Tyre. Remember the king of Tyre? All right. Same nature all the way through. And now Stephen is about to come against that nature. In, in great form. <laughs> now when they heard these things, and they w now when they heard these things, they were enraged, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. He's seeing this. Yep. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. So he knows that this <laughs> they want to kill him. He says, and I can see God right now. <laughs> yeah. Just to make sure what he's decided to do is done. He's made a decision. We'll talk about that in a minute. But they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and rushed together at him. Then they cast him out of the city and stoned him. Okay? Killed him. Executed him. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul. And as they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus... Receive my spirit, like Jesus did. And falling to his knees, he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And there it is. Do not hold this sin against them, the same as Jesus Christ. That, that heart is a transfigured heart. Because that is none of this. We saw what this was. Who's the greatest? Shall we cool down fire? Why are those people performing miracles and not part of our group? Stephen is the opposite. He was performing miracles, great miracles. And here, he lays down his life. Because the Son of God can't be martyred. He 
can only lay down his life willingly. This is going to be important things to know. You can... Like, <laughs> if you have something in common with murder, the murderous people can have something in common with you. But they are love. Love, light and spirit. They couldn't seize Jesus. The, the, the prince of this world had nothing in common with him. Yeah, you, Jesus said, no authority over me, that's what's given to you. He could call down angels and smash that place. But he didn't. He let the beast touch him. He got, let it go right into him and he defeated it. And here is Stephen, who's of that heart. And because he's of that heart, he can walk in great signs, wonders and miracles. Can you imagine if the church right now got great power? What would they do with it? Would they lie down their life for their enemies? They would call down lightning. That's exactly what they do. As their father. As their father would. Big secrets there. This nature that we're talking about is you. You received it as a free gift. And all you're doing is bringing it to your soul, making a free decision, which brings it into your body. 